Hello, I'm John Bellinger uh, from Arnold and Porter and the Council on Foreign Relations in Washington, D.C. It's a great honor for me to be back in Rome today to speak to the uh, Center for American Studies uh, in remembrance of the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Uh, five years ago, on the fifth anniversary of the attacks, when I was the legal advisor of the State Department working for Condoleezza Rice, I gave the fifth anniversary address here, and I was greatly honored when uh, the president of the Center for American Studies, uh, Minister Giuliano Amato, asked me to come back to give the 10th anniversary address. The center is a great uh, friend of the U.S. Embassy, and it's uh, an honor for me to be back. Uh, I'll be speaking today uh, about the challenges uh, in fighting terrorism. We've been having uh, a good success uh, in the last uh, few years in our uh, fight with uh, Al-Qaeda and those who attacked us uh, on 9-11 10 years ago, uh, but the challenges still remain. And I'll be focusing on the difficult legal issues involved in uh, fighting terrorism. In particular, uh, 10 years ago when uh, Al-Qaeda attacked the United States, it posed very difficult legal challenges for the U.S. Uh, because this was a fight between uh, a state, the United States, uh, and a non-state group, Al-Qaeda, uh, which uh, did not follow the law and to which the traditional uh, uh, international law, like the Geneva Conventions, uh, uh, did not neatly apply. Uh, so I will be appealing today uh, for uh, our countries to continue to work together to develop and clarify the international law rules uh, that apply to a struggle between uh, a state uh, and a non-state group like the United States, or uh, like, like Al-Qaeda. Uh, and our Italian friends have worked very closely with us in fighting terrorism uh, over the years. Uh, Giuliano Amato has been at the forefront uh, when he was interior minister of working with the United States uh, and helping us to develop uh, a proper legal framework that allows us to fight terrorism uh, consistent with the rule of law. So I'm very pleased to be here today uh, and welcome the uh, initiative of both the U.S. Embassy and the Center for American Studies in putting together today's program. Thank you.